So Canadian federal government is so determined to ignite a spark in the debt housing market that they are bringing these insane policies left and right, just like what we saw today. So we saw an announcement from our dearest finance minister, Christia Freeland, about allowing the homeowners to take on an extra loan, which is going to be backed up by the CMHC, i.e. taxpayers, to build basement unit or to build a laneway house or backyard house, whatever you call them, okay? Um, so there's a lot to unpack here. So let me just break it down for you. So so what is CMSC? CMSC is basically a government organization that actually ensures the bank's capital for riskier borrowers. So if you are a borrower, you know, you go to the bank and you say, okay, I need to uh, buy a property Mr. Banker, can you give me a loan? The banker will say, hmm, you have to pay 20% deposit at least in order to qualify. Otherwise, I will consider you a high risk borrower. And if you are a high risk borrower, that means you, you don't have at least 20% equity to put down as a deposit, you will be considered a high risk borrower, okay? So the banker will say, eh -eh, I, I'm not taking this risk. You are considered a risky borrower to me. God forbid something happen, my capital will not be recovered. The government steps in and say, hang on, Mr. Banger, I have established this organization, CMSC, which is going to be covered by taxpayers, by the way, and if this borrower becomes default, then I will cover your capital. I mean, CMSC will cover your capital, which means taxpayers like you and I will cover their capital. Whose capital? Bank's capital. Okay, so that's how the CMSC backed, you know, mortgage insurance work. Now, what they announced today is that they're allowing the homeowner who has an empty basement or um, an available garage space, or they wanted to build a laneway house in their in the backyard. They're allowing that homeowner to refinance their entire property's mortgage. Okay, using this program, which is going to go effect next year, January 15th, and take up to 90% of the LTV to build this basement unit. And it's all backed by CMSC, it's all insured by taxpayers. 1.8 million. So the, the limit that they set is the ceiling limit of $2 million. So if your property is worth $2 million, Okay, and you have a basement unit available uh, or, or empty. You can go and refinance your entire properties uh, and take up to 1.8 million out as an equity to build um, a basement unit. Now, tell me about that. Is it scalable if they're really concerned about adding units in the market, in the supply? Is this solution scalable versus if they work with the private sector, like you know, recognized builders who are professional and expert in building purpose-built rental units in high-rise buildings, is that solution scalable or financing uh, the mom and shop homeowners to build basement rental units? You tell me in the comment section. Okay, so if they are really sincere about adding rental supply, they should have taken a proper approach to help the private sector, i.e. builders, to build purpose-built rental that could add units at scale in the supply. But no, <laughs> because the election is coming, they need votes. They need votes. And this is the reason why all of these policies are coming out in order to spark something in the dead housing market which hasn't been risen up yet after three rate cuts and i've been telling you guys for so many months that rate cuts may not be a bullish sign and so far it has turned out right anyway you let me know what you think about that put your comments down below and check out the links in the description uh, subscribe to my newsletter that I send out every week and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. If you are an investor in the US, in Canada or in Europe and you are considering investing into Dubai real estate market, this video is for you because 
we have a platform called stake which allows you to invest into the residential real estate market and start earning rental income right away without going through a lengthy documentation process or coming up with a heavy down payment stake is built upon this the concept of crowdfunding so it is democratizing the entire investment strategy and, and allows you to own a single unit of the entire investment portfolio so you don't have to own the entire property right? you can be part of the pool that can actually own a piece of property a piece of real estate so that allows you to start with as low as 2000 dirhams and you can slowly ramp up so as you start investing into it you can not only own a bit of bit of a real estate but you also get a portion of the rental income on monthly basis so it's a passive investment strategy diversifying your portfolio from traditional North American or European markets into Dubai which is hustling and bustling and growing very fast and allows you to build your wealth over time so so don't delay there is a link down there in the description if you click on this it will give you free 200 dirhams in your account right away to start with and you can thank me later